Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, welcome back. In case you missed it, this is a uh, Patreon exclusive that we did yesterday morning, talking about the possibility of another plague upon the land coming out in just the uh, in just perhaps a few weeks. Uh, actually, starting to make its way uh, into our psyche. Oh man, there are so many things that make their way into our psyche some things that we are very very aware of and other things that we are not and i think we just have a better chance if we know what to look for and i'm sure you are familiar with this 1988 it was released in november of 1988 science fiction action horror film this is a cult classic this is like if you haven't watched this you gotta go back and watch it they live again it was made by john carpenter uh and starred roddy piper keith david meg foster all about the fact that non-humans run this world non-humans run this world and roddy roddy piper is the hero and he finds these glasses uh, that can show you what the controllers really look like. And uh, it's not pretty picture, as you could see. Mm -mm. No, I mean, this should be, we should have our very own list of EE Arts, mandatory watching and reading, <laughs> if, you know, when you watch our YouTube videos, because there's some things in there that nail it just frighteningly well. They influence our decisions without us knowing it. They numb our senses without us feeling it. They control our lives without us realizing it. They live. Um, yeah, you know, this is just awesome. What can you say? This was such a fun movie, and we viewed it as fun. We viewed it as you know, maybe having a little basis in reality. You know, back in this point in time, honestly, this is when I was waking up. This is truly when I was waking up. Again, I, I knew that the Bible was an E.T. story um, years before this, uh, but I didn't really get it <laughs> until around this time, and that's also the time of the harmonic convergence, which was very, very real. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's actually based on uh, a short story by Riddell Faraday Nelson, who uh, made this story in 1963 called Eight O'Clock in the Morning. And it was later used by John Carpenter as the basis for his 1988 film, They Live. If you guys are John Levy uh, fans, you know, he puts out a video every Sunday. And so I forgot that yesterday was Sunday. We were just crazy busy with all sorts of things. And um, I didn't watch it. And then I saw, oh, John put out one. Let's see what he's talking about. Well, what he's talking about in this week's video, again, he, he talks about the Kremlin and, again, uh, that Tartaria, uh, just rabbit hole that is so fun to go down when you look at the buildings like this. You know, why are the spires the way they are? You know, you guys are probably familiar with the whole concept of pulling the ether uh, pulling the ether and condensing the ether, free energy, um, the fact that we've, we've had much more advanced civilizations than we currently are, uh, and again, the fact that this is all really a Truman Show. You are living a Truman Show. It's just the Mary Show, or it's the Kristen Show, or it's the John Show. I, again, every era that goes by, it's a little bit different, but it, it's a Groundhog's Day, just like the Bill Murray uh, video. You know, and it's like, why, why do we just continually bring this stuff up? Why do we bring it to the forefront? Why do we continue every time we see something and we get something? Why do we show you? It's because th we're not on a level playing field. And we needed support on our journey and you guys give us that and this is our way of supporting you back by showing you no you're not crazy no you are not insane things absolutely are not the way they appear and yes you are being manipulated you are being gaslit and this helps you <clears throat> stand in your stand in your path 
And I think it's just a more fair way if we bring this to the forefront and show people how badly they're being manipulated. Maybe, just maybe, people will start making different decisions that are actually going to save their life if they know how much they're being lied to. There's a remnant, and that's a very quote-unquote biblical term. There's always a remnant that make it through uh, these great redos, and then, you know, again, everything gets restarted afresh. Uh, many people have caught on that a lot of the things that are attribu attributed by the Catholic Church, which ultimately, again, all the mainstream uh, points of view that came out of it, you know, the Protestant belief set does come out of you know the the groundwork that was laid by the catholic church and yet we could see that there's many things that were attributed to uh, mithras or dionysus and and even osiris and others that then get attributed to uh jesus and you know again was the story that we're given about jesus the real story uh, in reality, uh, we would say absolutely not, not even close. Uh, it's it's completely the control system again, uh, grabbing on to uh, somebody that's problemic and, and turning it into an asset by, you know, again, distorting and changing the teachings and, and utilizing it to their benefit because people are going to feel there's something really wonderful about this uh, energy of this person that that was the real person that was here well yeah because they were trying to bust the system and show point out the fact that they do live and they're controlling your reality and and this is the reality that we we face and so john is pointing out this particular web uh this particular youtube channel affected collective because we are an affected uh, collective and unfortunately, as you can see, great views, 651,000 views six years ago. Uh, they haven't uploaded anything in six years. The last thing they uplo uploaded was about Sophia the AI robot. And before that, <clears throat> seven years ago, Proof They Live is a documentary. Do you think that, you know, the fact that what they were putting out there could have any you know bearing on the fact that they're no longer making videos? Absolutely. Again, when you get too close to the control system, they either bury you, they squish you down. As you know, we ourselves, uh, Evolutionary had a video that was just under 1 million views. And now if we get, you know, 3,000 views, it's amazing because, uh, again, the, well, I, I don't even believe the views are accurate. And that's something else we've gotten from the guides is the numbers they put out there is part of the paradigm of numbers that they want to put out there. So, you know, the reality is I do think that we're um, getting more views than they show. And when uh, I'll put a video out and the typical viewership on YouTube might be uh, 10 times what it is over on, you know, Brightian or Rumble. And then I notice it's only two times or three times that tells me that you know we're we're again covering something that they don't want out there, because obviously YT is is completely um, part of the system. This is a very very good one. See, stay asleep, obey. Th I mean, this was great. This this was uh, great stuff that we have um, right in front of our faces. And so, you know, starting over here, the, this video, they're showing scenes uh, from They Live where he's got the glasses on and he's walking around and he's marvel marveling because the subliminals. And this is very real. Recognize that, again, the CIA, the FBI, uh, the KGB, the OSS, MI6, every, every government on the planet works for the control system. They do not work for the people that they supposedly govern. They work for the control system. It is a control system that is ultimately controlled by, uh, ultimately, non-homo sapiens. They're not us. <laughs> That's the big reveal. It's not us. No, no, you, you live in a uh, fishbowl, and you're being watched 24-7, 365. They watch everything you do. Now, we know the surveillance is real, 
But even beyond everything that they allow us to see, it's always been there. It's always been there. We, every moment that we've been alive, whether we grew up in the 60s, 70s, or 80s, we've been watched every single moment. It's just that you know now in these times, it's just out there for public consumption. Um, and you know, here you have it. It's just it's great to show. Do you guys remember? Uh, I was talking to a young lady that, uh, at the grocery store that was checking me out, and I, I said to her, you know, when I grew up, we only had three channels. We only had three channels. Uh, you know, not everybody, you know, walked around looking at phones 24-7. There was no YouTube to figure things out. Like, you know, how do I install this? Oh, okay. Well, that's how you do it. Only three channels. And one of the things that would happen is they would sign off. And you would have this cheesy uh, music and the American flag waving when, when the channels were signing off. And this is what they're covering here. There's real subliminals that have always been there. This is going back into the 60s when, when that book was written. And this is what um, this channel is showing as, you know, they're playing the Star Spangled Banner, you know that famous famous song and you see the subliminals pop up look at this trust the US government meanwhile you have that music playing in the background and you know you have the messages coming through let's see if we go and change the setting make the playback speed half speed and I'll take the sound off. It's got the cheesy music, but the music might trigger some sort of, um, you never know. Uh, you know, it could trigger some sort of uh, copyright infringement. So you see the subliminals pop up. God is real. God is watching. Yeah, the biblical version of God is the control system. And still, you know, so many people don't understand God is within you. John gets that. John talks about that. He understands source is within us. We are fractals of source. Believe in the government. Yes. Uh, here come the subliminals. This is in the 60s that this was first put out there. Mm -hmm. You know, believe in the government God and rebellion is not tolerated. So it, it is a little bit tricky to catch, but she's very good about putting it down on the bottom how to read it but when you slow it down enough you can see as certain letters phase out the letters that they want to stick in your subconscious phase in so it's very quick and this is old technology because we had one whole channel growing up and this is what they did and they sign off at like 10 30 11 o'clock at night and they put put this on someone's tv and it just plays and that's it plays until like six o'clock in the morning so this is what people are sleeping to and it was really odd because i was looking on social media yesterday and somebody was asking hey do you ever notice like if if you're watching tv you always fall asleep but when you go to bed and make it a point to sleep you can't sleep it's because we're being hypnotized and we're 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 being changed and as much as uh energy work as mike and i do and we have an understanding we know that energy can be used and is used by our government for the negative effects and to control people um and this is the older technology i think it's a marvelous example of how it is done but the scary thing is can you imagine how much it's been updated by now? Like how many different directions we are being manipulated in. Uh, everywhere we turn, the food that we eat, uh, the, the schools, the everything, everything, everything. And the other um, mandatory watching should be a uh, three-body problem, you know, because that really, really, really hit at home. But this is so real and so many people were affected by this. And it just goes to show... We are in a petri dish, and the more that you are in the system, the more this this stuff is happening to you. Yeah, absolutely. the The reality is, you can find declassified documents on MK Ultra and all the technologies. There are all sorts of mind control technologies in play. Uh, I do think again, they're going to use frequency 
to trigger the chaos when they really want to trigger that chaos, which may not be very far off. Uh, and, and all those people that already have all the receivers implanted in all throughout their system, it'll be like literally a zombie apocalypse. It'll be just like that, you know, night of the walking dead, so to speak. Um, very, very creepy. There's another portion in here, here, where I'll give you guys the links, you know, do check it out this woman is sharing uh that she took a picture uh, a selfie you know and her daughter was watching something and you could see what's you know up on the screen in the background when they when they put out the signal uh to all those that are to receive it um you know it'll be like the purge is is what they're planning on triggering a, a purge like uh, environment. Many people have caught that, that they're literally um, preparing us for something like the purge. This is why you, you know, again, you want to try to be away from all the frequencies. You know, one of our, our dearest um, family members has left the OC, you know, Orange County. And, you know, I, I was always saying, you know, Please try to get out soon, get out sooner, 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 then later. Uh, and, you know, now, in retrospect, they're doing great. And there's a clarity that you couldn't get when you're in that soup. Uh, because there are so many signals. Think about the millions of, of individual routers the millions of cell phones in, say, L.A. or New York or, or D.C. or any of the big cities, Miami and, and Atlanta, Paris and London. You know, think about all those millions of, of different components that are all blasting this all day long. You know, there were horrible things that happened in certain African countries in which it seemed like the entirety of the civilization all, way, uh, all went like crazy at one point in time. Uh, there were tests of this type of technology that was carried out. Yes, absolutely. Even though, you know, the Bible is a total distortion uh, and it is being used to control uh, the minds of the masses, as is the Koran. You know, they are from the exact same root. Um, at the same time, you know, yes, there really are demons in charge. The only thing is that they've gotten you to follow the demons if you're still not aware that this is who uh, the system really, really is. It's the Tower of Babel. They can't have us peaceful. They can't have us getting along because we will go past them because they, they are spiritually midgets. They, they have no ability to get out of um, their own evolutionary uh, dead end. They're stuck. They've, they've traded away all the potential they have uh, to gain their influence that they have in the here and the now in this world. They're, they're at a complete dead end and, and they are so stuck. And so they just, you know, misery loves company. And, you know, they, they absolutely are miserable. They're not happy. You, know, they, you could have all sorts of uh, things and, and never be happy because things will never bring you happiness. You know, happiness is, is, is all about really uh, love and, and the frequency that you're give, giving off. And these beings, you know, again, they, they don't give off a high frequency. Not at all. Their frequency is control, you know. And again, you know, the subliminals are very, very, very real. This is what has been hitting us all the time. And as Cindy was talking about, this is just old technology. We're blasted with all sorts of new technology 24-7, 365. If you have never read um, the books by Barbara Mar Marciniak, um, she touches on all this back at this time, like in the 80s. Um, she channeled uh, books that were, uh, I'll, I'll just say, supposedly given to us by a group of Pleiadians that, that literally do tell you back in, in the late 80s to unplug as much as possible because they are programming your mind. They are implanting these um, ideas in your mind. And she talked about things that were going to come to pass in, I think, the period that we're, we're coming into right now. 
um, that are beyond being described because, you know, this is what they do time and time again. Uh, this is all so completely controlled when you, and I see so many people still say, you know, I am a patriotic, God-fearing American. Uh, the reali reality is you are completely a puppet on strings and you don't have a clue. And you don't know it, but you're trying to do the absolute best you can it, with, with what you have. And and it's not fair. And I'm looking at this and I'm seeing the injustice in it and how unfair it is. And I, I can't just sit back and sit on my hands and, and knowing this information and say people need to figure it out on their own. No, that's not fair. We're here to help each other out in some way, shape or form because this cannot continue to go on. If you knew um the truth of things would you continue to make the same decisions i mean if you really really knew the truth would you continue to walk down the same path and i think the truth of that is no people wouldn't they wouldn't walk down that path of the controllers they would make changes they would change their diet they would change how they spend their money they would change how they function at home they would change how they interact with other people they would change you know uh, trying to heal their own traumas because so many people are traumatized to such a high degree they, they can no longer get along with anybody they just can't get along with anybody because they're so hurt and they can't function in society very well but if they knew that how deliberate this was and how much they're being set up they might do differently and might say, hey, you know, I, I really need to look at me. I need to work this out because I was treated unfairly and I want better for myself. I deserve better for myself. So these these beings, they're just not human because humans don't do this to humans, but they must stay in the dark. They have to stay in the shadows. That's, that's, that's their... <laughs> You know, that's their thing. That's what they have to stay in the shadows. And this is how they do it. They get humans going after humans. Yeah, with the bombs bursting in the air is right next to rebellion is not tolerated. This is how um, those giant cities, the cities that the giants inhabited, um, are wiped out. And there are <laughs> no more giants over in those areas because they were exterminated by the system. And they've told us, you know, Homo sapiens is in its last generation or two because, again, uh, they plan to bring about something that is even more docile and compliant. Perhaps, you know, beings that are literally completely implanted at birth and will not have any um, way of self-determination. And Cindy is, is literally channeled and she has seen planets that are like that. There are planets out there that are like that, where the beings are nothing but biological and yet AI robots that have no free will of their own. Well, it's unfortunate because they go down a path that they think they have to go down because they didn't know any different. And I, I don't, you know, always, I, I understand the karma of it all. They have to tell you in some way, shape or form but if you're not paying close attention, people miss it. They miss it. They're busy. They're traumatized. They're raising children. They're trying to pay their bills. They're trying to feed their family. They, they miss it. And that's why we do what we do. So maybe one person who is supposed to catch it and wake up will catch it. And they will wake up. And they will do better for themselves and their friends and family if their friends and family so choose. The other hard part about this is people who are waking up... They desperately want to tell their family members and their friends because they love them and they know that something is wrong, but friends and family are not ready to wake up yet. So that is a, a hard part of things. Everyone has to wake up on their own, on their own. It has to be of their own free will, 100%. And uh, that's where we're at. So as always, guys, uh we we are so thankful for your support we couldn't do it without you guys check out the earlier video over on uh ee -E arts it's about this you know what is this i don't know i mean to me it, it does really resemble uh, a crashed ufo on a mountaintop in new mexico and we look forward to your comments as always 
much love source bless because the real creator is within you and you don't need anybody to connect to that namaste namaste